Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, dear students. This is my identity I have already given you. Dear learners, today I am going to conduct a class for class 7 English second paper. And all the students of class 7, you are ready to take in my class, take part my class. Dear students, look at the pictures and try to make present, past and future tense. Dear learners, look at the pictures and try to make present, past and future tense. Look at the slide. First one is, I read in this school. Here you have seen a boy, he said that I read in this school. And second one is, I was a student of this school. Do you know who is the person? Yes, he was Abraham Lincoln, the ex or the former president of United States of America. And third one is a little baby. She said or he said that I shall read in this school. So, dear students, can you identify what's the difference between uh, among these three sentences? First one is I read in this school and second one is I was a student of this school and third one is I shall read in this school. Okay, again try to say their views. I read in this school. I was a student of this school and I shall read in this school. So, my dear students, do you imagine what do have they expressed? Yes, exactly, you are right. They are expressing about the time of action. You mean that they have expre expressed the time of action. So, do you know what does indicate the time of action? Yes, you are right. This is tense. It may be tense. So, Today we are going to discuss in our session about tense. So, dear students, today our topic is tense. And you know that tense, this is a such, such kind of grammar. It is related to all grammat grammatical items. So, definitely you have to achieve the concept of tense. Okay. So, if you want to acquire the concept of tense, definitely you have to know the all structure of tense. So, today in our classes, we will discuss about the all structure of tense. Learning outcome. I mean, after ending this lesson, what will you be learned? I mean, after completing this lesson, the students will be able to say how many kinds of tense more classification of tense, make correct tense according to different rules of tense, rewrite sentences or passes present to past of future tense. Okay? You will be gathered this concept after completing this unit. Okay, dear learners, let's go to next slide. De definition and classification. Definition and classification. Can anyone say the definition and classification of tense? Yes, you are right. Tense is the change of form in a verb to express the time of action. So, what is the definition of tense? <coughs> Dear learners, tense. Tense is the change of form in a verb to express the time of action. There are three kinds of tense. Basically, basically there are three kinds of tense. They are present tense, past tense and future tense. Dear learners, please write down this definition and classification of tense in your notebook, please. So, what is tense or what is the definition of tense? Tense is the change of form in a verb to express the time of action. 
and basically there are three kinds of tense they are present tense past tense and future tense <coughs> Okay, dear view viewers, now we will go to our next slide. More classification. Have they any more kinds of tense? Obviously. Again, these tenses have divided into four forms. Again, these tenses have divided into four forms and they are indefinite, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. Again, this tense have divided into four forms and they are indefinite, continuous, perfect and perfect continuous. So, dear students, you have to learn the all structure of these tenses. Okay? And obviously, you have to write all the structure in your notebook. Structure of present tense. Firstly, I will see, see you see you the structure of present tense first one is present indefinite second one is present continuous third one is present perfect and fourth one is present perfect continuous so what is the structure of present indefinite tense firstly subject then main verb first subject then main verb then object or extension but here is important note if the subject is third person singular number then you have to add s es or ies in the main verb okay then object or extension if the subject is third person singular number then you have to add with main verb s es or ies this is the structure of present indefinite tense then present continuous tense subject plus bar am oblique is oblique are plus bar plus ing this is present continuous tense subject plus am oblique is oblique are plus bar plus ing that is the structure of present continuous tense then present perfect tense subject plus have oblique has plus past participle plus object or extension this is present perfect tense subject plus have oblique has oblique past participle of <coughs> verb then object or extension and third one is subject plus have been or has been plus verb plus ing plus since oblique for okay Dear students, I think you have written in your notebook all the structure of tense. Now we will go to example. Dear students, now try to make four sentences according to above, above structure. First one is I eat rice. This is present indefinite tense. I eat rice. Second one is I am eating rice. I am eating rice. That is sub firstly subject am plus eat plus it bar plus ing plus object i am eating rice and third one is i have eaten rice i have eaten rice subject plus have oblique has plus v3 that means it it has been it will be eaten i have eaten rice and third one is i have been eating rice for an hour i have been reading i have been eating uh, rice for an hour or one hour this is present perfect continuous tense. <coughs> okay, dear learners, now we will go to next slide. And that is the structure of past tense. Similarly, we will learn firstly. <coughs> I will also show you the structure of past tense as well as the example of past tense. Okay. First indefinite tense, firstly past indefinite tense, first subject, then past form of verb, then object. So, the example will be I at rise. 
the structure of past indefinite tense is firstly subject then past form of verb then object so the example will be i ate rice i that is subject it that is the past form of it then object rice i ate rice then past continuous tense the structure of past continuous tense is subject plus ob was oblique where plus verb plus ing subject plus was oblique where plus verb plus ing so the example is i was eating rice or we were eating rice firstly subject i then auxiliary verb was then it verb and uh, we have to add ing with the verb it so it will be eating i was eating rice and the rice is object and here i have given you another example uh, like we were eating rice since we were we the subject is plural so the verb has been will plural that is where we were eating rice now the structure of past perfect tense subject plus had plus past participle of verb plus object or extension okay the structure of past perfect tense is subject plus had plus past participle of verb plus object or extension so the example will be i had eaten rice before the bell uh, rang before the bell rang dear students i would like to clarify this past perfect tense be because this tense is very important uh, what is the definition of past perfect tense অতীত কালে দুটি কাজ ঘটবে অতীত কালে দুটি কাজের মধ্যে অপেক্ষাকৃত যে কাজটি আগে ঘটবে সেটি পাস্ট পারফেক্ট টেন্স এবং অপেক্ষাকৃত পরে যে কাজটা ঘটবে সেটা পাস্ট ইনডিফিনিট টেন্স আর এখানে সিন্স সরি বিফোর অর আফটার বসবে বিফোরের আগে সবসময় পাস্ট পারফেক্ট আর বিফোরের পরে পাস্ট ইনডিফিনিট আর আফটারের আগে পাস্ট ইনডিফিনিট আফটারের পরে পাস্ট পারফেক্ট ওকে সো দ্য এক্সাম্পল ইজ আই হ্যাড eaten rice before the bell rang here before before er purbe i had eaten rice that is past perfect tense at pore the bell rang that is past indefinite tense okay so i had eaten rice before the bell rang okay dear viewers now now we will go to next uh, structure past perfect continuous tense the structure of past perfect continuous tense is subject plus had been plus verb plus ing plus object or extension subject plus had been plus verb plus ing so the example will be i had been reading in this primary school for 5 years i have been reading in this primary school for 5 years this is the example of past perfect continuous tense Okay dear learners I think that you have written all the structure and example in your notebook Now we will go to next slide <coughs> Next slide is the structure of future tense as well as the example of all future tense okay Firstly we will learn the structure of future indefinite tense what is future indefinite tense any action or any work will be happened in future that is future indefinite tense so the structure is future indefinite tense is subject plus shall oblique will plus verb plus object the structure of future indefinite tense is subject plus shall oblique will plus bar plus object or extension and the example is i shall eat rice or we will participate the party i shall eat rice or we will or shall participate the party here subject i bar auxiliary verb shall or will then eat bar b1 and rice is object okay 
सो आई शैल इट राइज और वी विल पार्टिसिपेट द पार्टी देन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ फ्यूचर इन डिफिनेट टेंस सब्जेक्ट प्लस शैल बी और विल बी प्लस भार प्लस आई एन जी प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट और एक्सटेंशन ओके डे स्टूडेंट्स द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ फ्यूचर कॉन्टिन्यूस टेंस इज सब्जेक्ट प्लस शैल बी और विल बी प्लस भार प्लस आई एन जी सो द एग्जाम्पल विल बी आई शैल बी ईटिंग राइज हेयर आई इज सब्जेक्ट एंड शैल बी दैट इज ऑक्जरी भार्प ऑफ फ्यूचर कॉन्टिन्यूस टेंस एंड मेन भार्प इज इट सो यू हैव टू एड आई एन जी विद दिस भार्प that will be eating and the object is rice so the total sentence is i shall be eating rice i shall be eating rice that is the example of future continuous tense okay now we will go to the structure of future perfect tense subject plus shall have oblique will have plus past participle of verb subject plus shall have plus will have plus past participle of verb plus extension or object so the example will be i shall have eaten rice i shall have eaten rice here subject is i shall have that is auxiliary verb of future perfect tense then eaten that is the past participle form of it and rice is object so the example here is i shall have eaten rice i shall have eaten rice and here i have given you another example like we shall or we will have eaten rice we will have eaten rice here we we subject will have that is the auxiliary verb of future perfect tense and eaten is the past participle form of it and rice is object so the same example is we shall have eaten rice we shall have eaten rice and <clears throat> this is our last structure that is the future perfect continuous tense future perfect continuous tense the structure is subject plus shall have been oblique will have been plus verb plus ing plus since oblique for okay the structure of future perfect continuous tense is subject plus shall have been oblique will have been plus verb plus ing plus since or for so the example is i shall have been reading in this school for 5 years i shall have been reading in this school for 5 years the students here subject is i shall have been that is the auxiliary verb of future perfect continuous tense shall have been so i shall have been here verb is read so you have to add ing with this verb so it will be reading so the sentence is i shall have been reading in this school for 5 years i shall have been reading in this school for 5 years okay dear students i expect that you have got clear concept about the all structure of tense and example and definition so i am giving you an individual work make three sentences according to above picture what have you seen in the picture yes football you have seen a football in the slide so you have to make three sentences according to above picture present tense past tense and future future tense this is your individual work this is your peer work so since you are staying at home so it's impossible to do peer work so you have to do it individually sad reads in class 6 he went to school yesterday yesterday that is that is the symbol of past tense he does not play cricket do you drink milk every day we should love our country we should love our country
this is group work there's learner since you are staying at home so you have to do it individually side reads in class 1 you have to transform present continuous tense mother is cooking rice for us you have to transform that is past continuous tense father went to school this is uh, past tense so you have to transform it present perfect tense they are played cricket you have to transform it present perfect continuous tense Saida drinks milk every day make it negative you have to do it negative make a chart of tense this is your homework make a chart of tense this is your homework the end okay dear learners thanks a lot for your active participation in my class and still stay home don't go outside without any emergency and you have to abide by the rules of health and hygiene and you as well as you have to very serious about your study okay dear learners Thank you. Thank you very much. Allah bless.